try that a second time. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So I know I don't normally come on here and make dinner, but I want to make a recipe tonight that I've mentioned to you guys a few times and I absolutely love. And I make the most basic version of this and I love it so, 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 so much. So I had um, some butter lettuce and to me that's the only necessary main ingredient. The rest I can figure out. If, you, if you've ever been to the Cheesecake Factory, there is um, Thai, I think they're just called Thai something lettuce wraps. And they are the most ridiculously delicious thing on the menu. And even eating junk all the time. Could you please open my beef stick? <laughs> Hold on, kid Hi. needs a beef stick opened. Hello. Her turkey, her turkey chomps. Um, even when, when I was eating totally off plan, I'm the one to order like fried everything off the cheesecake or funny menu. Um, but I would always get the lettuce wraps Thank and you. they are the best. You're welcome, honey. They are the best things. Oh, they're so good. They come with, um, I think you are Beverly. <laughs> You're right here. Um, a cheesecake factory, the closest one here is in Boston. I've only been, I've been to it in um, Phoenix a couple of times and I've been to it in Boston like three times. Um, but I, I wish we had one local. I could care less about their cheesecake. I just want their Thai lettuce wraps. So there's some really good recipes on Pinterest for these wraps um, where you take the um, chicken and you marinate it in coconut oil, uh, coconut milk and lime juice um, and some hot peppers or a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I don't follow that. I use <laughs> really good, Sarah. <laughs> They're really good. Like so, 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 so good. I think she's mocking me and I'm not okay with that. Um, anywho, I could make plain grilled chicken to go in these but I'm gonna use um, some frozen chicken strips that I have right here. These are blackened chicken strips. Um, I'm gonna use these because it's what I got. I don't have any plain chicken breast at home right now. I don't have any, I usually have chicken breast tenders in the freezer at all times, but I've run out and I need to go grocery shopping for them. So these ones have, so if you look at the ingredients, these are boneless, skinless chicken breasts and strips with rib meat and water. And then it says contains 2% or less of the following. And it does say that it has um, garlic, all that stuff, paprika, who cares about that? But it does say cornstarch. It's way down on the ingredients. It's after the contains 2% or less. And this to me is the same as eating um, an on-plan um, preserved meat bacon or um, that has 2% or less of sugar or um, bologna is technically on plan or salami or any of those cured meats are going to have 2% less of sugar. Sometimes they have this cornstarch. So I think you can do you on this. I personally choose to use these, but if you don't want to use that because it has that little tiny bit of cornstarch, it's less than one carb in the whole serving. It's fine for me. I, I, I go with it. But if that bothers you, get plain chicken breast. Grill it up. Um, season it with whatever you want. I, I'm just going to use these because they make my life easy. And I don't, there's, they're not bad enough. <laughs> they're, you know, it's a mild, um, low on the ingredient level ingredient. So I'm not worried about it. So, but. <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> you have spam. Spam's on plan. <laughs> Might not be that great. Well, these are nice and, and frost bit. So this is how this is how you get frozen meat in my house. <laughs> oh my word. But whatever. So I know in the plan um book 
Pearl suggests for drive through Sue's, the pre-packaged chicken strips that like the, um, I think they're Tyson, the, the salad topper. I just flung a piece of chicken. Salad toppers that are um, the steak toppers, the chicken toppers that, I'm trying to think what they're called. They're, I don't know, but they're, they're pre-cooked, they're cold, they're not frozen. And you just throw them on top of your salad. She recommends using those and those have the same ingredients. So I'm okay with it. So anyway, I'm gonna take a few of these out. And I, oh, the thing I like about these is they're fully cooked. I literally don't have to do, what baby doll? But then put it somewhere, wrap it up. Leave it on the counter, I'll take care of it. Can I have else? Yes, you may. She doesn't like her turkey stick. I don't All know, right. it's just not what I thought it was. Really Alright, so a like serving it. is three ounces. I've measured these out before. It's usually six six um, chicken strips. And look what I did. I broke the zipper closer on this. That was stupid. Now I've got a bag to go in the freezer that won't close. <sighs> Brittany, have you ever fried it? Have you ever stuck it in a frying pan with some butter? Cause girl, until you have had a Spam burger, I don't wanna hear that you don't like it. It's so good. It's so good. All right. I'm gonna set this over here to kind of thaw out while I'm cooking the rest of my stuff. But that, it's just, it's all cooked. I literally just gotta throw it in the microwave and nuke it. Can I just have some Yes, you can, snaps? you can. All right, so the thing about the Thai lettuce wraps that's so good is all the stuff that goes with it, all the dippies, and I love dip. And so I make two different dips. I make a peanut sauce and then kind of a spicy sweet sauce that I, oh, it's just so good. Um, and it also has a cucumber, Asian cucumber salad on the side. Well, if you know me, I absolutely, hate cucumbers absolutely so lucas come on now have you fried it and had a piece of pineapple on it it's delicious um i absolutely hate cucumbers i hate them with every ounce of everything that is in my body i hate them so i'm gonna use a zucchini instead <laughs> because i can't i just cannot bring myself I don't know why I rinsed that I'm gonna peel it that was a waste of time um I can't bring myself to do it for nobody no how I've tried but I'm not eating cucumbers for nothing I know we're supposed to be talking lettuce wraps and they're on to spam I you cucumbers. You don't? have you met me I birthed you from my loins well, again, and you daddy. don't know that I hate cucumbers well, again, daddy's the one that Nasty. They're the devil's food. They are the devil's spawn. So I don't like zucchini that much either, but I can tolerate it. The thing with this salad that I find makes it taste better is if you cut this stuff really thin. I'll write up everything that I put in this for you guys. But this is one of the best toppers to me. I did. I birthed her from my loins. She should know better. She came straight out of my lady kitchen. She should know. And I was her greatest dish. She was my greatest dish straight out of my lady kitchen. I love pickles. I love forgive pickles, me. Paulette. Forgive me for not knowing that about you. I'll forgive you this time, Marin. I mean, I don't know. Oh, no. No. I've tried them with every possible. The only thing I will eat is pickles. I won't eat quickles. Quickles? But I'll eat. No, no. I, I won't eat them with any any other form than a Clausen pickle. Or I'll eat other pickles, but I prefer a Clausen. The dog is standing here begging for a piece of zucchini. All right. I tried to make my camera, so whoops, that, that's good. I'm so good at this. So you could see my chopping board and not cut off my head, but I guess if, if there's anything you should see, it's my chopping board, not my face. <clears throat> see enough of that. All right, so I just cut them really thin, you guys. Like, see, like super duper 
thin. What do you miss, Tracy? Cucumbers? Have you tried air fried pickles, Paulette? Have you tried making fried pickles in an air fryer? They're the bomb. They are. <laughs> My kid's going, Ugh. Again, I don't know how I bore her if she doesn't eat pickles, because I love pickles. I've tried dill pickles, they're disgusting. Okay, so the other key to this recipe is rice vinegar, and I don't have any. <laughs> it's really good with rice vinegar, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use plain old ACV. But use rice vinegar, and it will taste even more like, like Chinese food, well, Thai food. I'm just putting a little splash of rice vinegar, some salt, A decent amount of salt. I need red pepper. I have this all written down from the last time I made it, but I don't pay attention to a mouse very much. So some red pepper flakes, some sesame oil. This is what also what makes it taste really, really good. Thanks, Brittany. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to become a coach, you guys. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. If you had asked me last year this time, if you had said to me last year this time, hey, guess what? In March of 2021, you're gonna be a lifestyle coach. <laughs> I just said, shut the front door. I am not. I would have laughed my head off. Laughed you right out of the room, but you never know what's gonna fall in your path. You never know. You listen to, to God tell you what's gonna make you happy and you just never know. All right, I put sesame oil, I put crushed red pepper, I put a little bit of sweetener, and I put some sesame seeds. Black sesame seeds are even better, but again, I don't have any. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Brittany, I've had a, a ton of people reach out. I I have to work on a plan. So I'm working right now on like, I want more red pepper. I, I'm working on like a coaching plan, like how I'm gonna do this, what my groups are gonna consist of, if I'm gonna offer one-on-one -on -one or just groups for now, if, you know, what what that looks like. So if you have big ideas of what you'd like to see, let me know, but I'm trying to write that up and hopefully it won't take too long, but I wanna put the right amount of effort in it so I can give you guys something that actually helps. I want to make sure I'm, you know, giving you something good and not just jumping into it for the sake of rushing. I don't want to rush. I want to do it right. All right. So that's it for that um, cucumber salad. It's zucchini. That's it. So I, I make that one first so it can kind of sit in the, and marinate in the, in the, uh, you know, you know, the thing, you know, man. Come on, man. All right, shredded carrots. I know I got carrots in here somewhere. And cabbage. All right. I kind of make a little platter with these is what I do. So I just need, just need one, okay, one carrot. I don't know why I just cut it off there. You want the other piece, buddy? All right. You swallow that whole? Don't, dummy. I don't want to do the Heimlich on a golden retriever. You know how dumb that would look? All right. Chew it up. Such a pig. Do I have something I can shred with? I don't know. I could shred with this, I guess. I just like little matchsticks. It'd be easier if I had them. Paulette, not really. I kinda, um, years ago, I found a recipe for the, these and I tweaked it and tweaked it and tweaked it and now I just kinda wing it. But I will write down what I did. Why are you even live now? I know, Bonnie. It's because I'm making lettuce wraps and I knew you guys would want to see them. I knew, I knew you'd want to. And I had the time, so I thought, you know what? 
Might as well share it with my peeps. So there's probably a really easy way to make matchstick carrots, but I don't know, cause I'm not a chef. I don't have a clue. So I'm literally just taking all this effort. I'm making lettuce wraps, Bonnie, Thai lettuce wraps. If you've ever been to the Cheesecake Factory, of course, there's 62 million things on their menu. So there's chances of you having ordered the lettuce wraps at the Cheesecake Factory are probably slim because, you know, there's 62 million other choices. I always used to get these in the pot stickers. Yeah, this is a total waste of time cutting these up into matchsticks. My word. Who's got time for this? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> that kid is one of a kind. Oh, say? Oh. <laughs> I know I don't usually go live in the afternoon, but why not? Once in a while. Usually I save the afternoons for other things, but this is a pretty easy recipe if you do it with the pre-cooked chicken. This is the most time consuming, but if you bought matchstick carrots, it would not be difficult but you know like a genius I didn't buy that I have a whole carrot and I'm slicing it up into these little shreds I'm probably gonna slice off my finger all right good enough I only need a few pieces for my my little plate all right a few carrots I take a chunk of cabbage now the Thai lettuce wraps at the Cheesecake Factory have like bean sprouts or something, but I, I don't, I don't bother with that because it's not something I would eat otherwise. So I do a little bit of finely shredded purple cabbage or green cabbage if that's what I got. I just put whatever I got. Bassie, you are so close to me, I can feel your breath. You want a piece of cabbage? That dog, I'm telling you. He's all right. Oh, no, he's all right. <laughs> well, pretty much, Brittany. Everything, everything where? Have sugar. At the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They totally have sugar. There's two sauces, maybe even three sauces. The tamarind sauce, which I hate, so I don't bother making that. It comes with a tamarind sauce. That one, I don't know if it has sugar in it because it's nasty. I don't eat it. Blah. I don't like tamarind. Um, but the red chili sauce has tons of sugar in it, and the peanut sauce has tons of sugar in it. So, all right, got a pile of red cabbage. All right, got my, okay. So now I need to make a couple sauces. These are stupid easy sauces to make, so. All right, let me get a couple of bowls. And I'll have a little bit left over so I can. <laughs> Amy, I'm so glad I made your dreams come true here with Thai lettuce wraps, that's, you know. <gasps> oh, I can't, I can't do the tamarind, De Debbie. There's, I, they, 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 they. nope, it's not happening. But the peanut sauce, I remember the first time that I got these and they brought it to my table, I was like, is that peanut butter? Is there peanut butter in this lettuce wrap? And I was totally grossed out by the thought of it. But, oh my word, I can admit when I'm wrong. This doesn't happen very often. I'm kidding. Peanut sauce, peanut powder, right there, where's my peanut powder? All right, a couple tablespoons of peanut powder. Actually, you know what, I forget. I do, I usually do one teaspoon of peanut powder and then one, uh, excuse me, one tablespoon of peanut powder and then I do one tablespoon of peanut butter, natural peanut butter. Whoops, wrong bowl. And then some sesame oil, which is already over here. I am modest, aren't I, Rhonda? <coughs> I totally am. All right, two teaspoons 
a sesame oil. I love sesame oil. If you guys don't have sesame oil, oil in your house, you need to. It's so good. Uh, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce, but our teaspoons, I mean. But I use, I'm gonna use Bragg's because it's what I got. Um, lime juice. Where's my lime? Am I all out? No, of course not. I'm not. I'm not out of lime. I'm almost out. So, a couple tablespoons or whatever's left in the bottle. <laughs> I never, I never ever have. <laughs> Should I comment while driving now? Are you driving, Bonnie, and watching a cooking show? <laughs> you probably shouldn't comment. <laughs> or be watching. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I need garlic. Where's my garlic? Right here. I use this pre-diced garlic or pre-whatever garlic because because I can. I ain't, I ain't got time for fresh garlic. I don't buy fresh garlic. It's not worth the effort. I'm sure some of you just gasped when I said that because you totally think it's worth the effort, but I don't. All right, sriracha. I don't have any. <laughs> so I'm going to use this stuff, Cholula. I use hot sauce because I don't have any sriracha. And I don't even know if sriracha is on plan. It might be. I don't know. Is there sugar in sriracha? I've never had it in my house. What's sriracha? It's a spicy ketchup-like thing. All right. Will you learn if what sriracha is in science? Is that what you said? Oh, oh, in the term healthy mama class. I don't think they're gonna teach you about sriracha. All right, that's it for the sauce. I'll write this all down, nobody panic. And tweak it so it tastes good to you. If it's too vinegary, add a little more peanut powder or sweetener. If it's too sweet, add a little more salt or add a little more vinegar. Just make it until it tastes good. So it's like a thick peanut sauce. Oh, okay? I got way too much soy sauce in there. Holy Anna. You okay? Woo. What's the matter? Just one <laughs> I got way too much soy. Holy moly. Is Put a little spicy? sweetener in there. Is it spicy? You're in the hole. It's not spicy. Stop. Stop asking me questions while I'm choking to death. All right, be careful how much um, soy sauce. I think I put two tablespoons. It's supposed to be two teaspoons. Yes, I get toasted sesame oil. This one is not. This one's pure. I usually get the toasted though. Yeah, totally gotta, I, you gotta read the instructions and not put two tablespoons of soy sauce in this. That's better. It's not even spicy enough, so I'm gonna put a little hot sauce in it. A little extra hot sauce. What's the matter? You smell stinky food? I'm not even cooking yet. This probably is the soy. All right, so there's my peanut sauce. And then I'm gonna make a spicy, like a chili sauce. I don't have any chili paste. <laughs> Carolina Reaper. So I'm not gonna really be making a chili sauce. So normally it's got vinegar. I know, I have like six bottles of sesame oil. That's peanut butter, all right. So some vinegar quarter cup of rice vinegar, I'm using ACV, two tablespoons of fish sauce. I don't know if it's made of fish or if it's meant to put on fish. I really have no idea what fish sauce is. It's made of anchovies, so there. How much of that? Two tablespoons of fish sauce. That's gonna be strong. Some hot water, quarter cup of hot water.
this is kind of a thinner sauce. So two tablespoons of sweetener. I'm gonna use this pure, this is pure. So two tablespoons of that. Measure it all with your hands and it'll come out perfect. Some lime juice, which I just ran out of. This is gonna be top notch tonight. Some garlic and chili paste, which I know I don't have chili paste. I know I, I think I threw it out because it was way past its date. Yeah, I don't have any. That's okay though. That's okay, I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of red chilies in it. It's kind of a thinner sauce. And I, uh, that's a lot of chilies, you guys. Totally. And I don't know why I just put it in there because I need to boil it. I'm thawing out my, my family's meat at the same time I'm cooking. I, meant I should have put this in my pot. <laughs> a dirty extra dish. All right, <clears throat> Tiffany, no, <laughs> but it does have, it does have um, fish sauce in it. So I'm just gonna simmer that down. It's really better with chili paste, but I don't have it, so, all right. So let me get a plate and show you what I do. While that's simmering down over there, I'm just gonna simmer it till it, thickens a little bit. And if it doesn't thicken much, I'll add a little bit of um, glucky or xanthan gum to kind of thicken it a little. So I'm just gonna pile my stuff. It's like a little finger food platter, really, when you're done. And you need huge plates, and I don't have huge plates. Let me get my butter lettuce. What's gross, Bonnie? You just said gross, gross, gross. What's gross? The fish sauce? Have you had fish sauce again? Have you tried it? I don't want to hear gross, gross, gross until you've tried it at least three times. Fish sauce, or is it butter lettuce? You're saying gross, gross, gross too. And should I be asking you these questions? Because are you still driving? All right, I break off my butter lettuce in big. You can have a ton of these because it's lettuce. So eat the whole head, one head of lettuce. Don't taste what, the fish sauce? It's probably horrid. But it's good in sauces. It works really, really good. I put it in fried rice. I put it in lots of stuff. It's just salty. Yes, Susan, the butter lettuce makes the best wraps. And look at that pile, because it's lettuce. Eat the whole darn head of it. Nobody's gonna be mad if you eat a whole head of that lettuce. All right, pour some of my peanut sauce in that bowl. Pour some, I'll pour this in there when it thickens up. Whew, that stuff is gonna be hot. I put a lot of peppers. You must be talking about fish sauce, Nikki. I haven't tried it by itself. Is it gross by itself? Fairly disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Tastes like really salty fish. Yeah, don't do that. Gross. That is gross. All right. I gotta take one thing out of the mic. All right, I'm going to nuke my chicken. It doesn't, my, that chicken is pre-cooked. So don't write everything down. Who's writing it all down? So you, Carrie? Lori. I, I'm gonna write this all down for you when I'm done. Unless you're gonna make it tonight. <laughs> Bonnie, it is good. It's good. It's good. You might want to lighten up on the red peppers that you put in that sauce though. I mean, I put a significant amount. I should have made this first so it would be done reducing. Anyway, 
I, I might I think I'm gonna put a little more sugar and a little bit of glucky in my not sugar not sugar I take that back no sugar a sweetener and I'm gonna put a little bit of glucky and whisk it in real quick it's gross by itself <laughs> Brittany but it's really good in sauces it just adds a nice salty saltiness <laughs> All right, ooh, I had the wrong side of my glucky open. That would have been bad news. All right, I'll let that cook down for a second with the glucky in there. And I'm gonna cut up my chicken. So here's my chicken. All done, easy peasy. I love this stuff. Completely cooked. No thought behind it whatsoever. Whew, it's hot though. It's hot on the ends, not in the middle. If you don't like spicy, don't get this blackened version. Just get plain because this stuff is spicy and hot when you touch it. I bought this by mistake one time. I thought I was buying plain. I didn't realize it was blackened. And I was pleasantly surprised because it, it makes the best like, huh? Pleasantly. Pleasantly. You just toss it the gas in the mouth, throw in a match and call it good. Toss a cap of gas in my mouth, he says. Throw in a match and call it good. All right, so there's my reduced chili sauce. When I tell you this is spicy, I am not kidding. Look at all this. There is a whole ton of chili flakes in there. Go very sparingly. I spilled way too much. That is gonna burn the hair off my chest. You don't have hair and on She has it too. I don't have any hair on my chest. <laughs> that is gonna be so spicy, it's gonna burn the hair off my husband's chest and he's not even eating it. That is gonna be hot. That's okay. All right, so there's my other sauce and there's my chicken oh and my Asian salad I gotta put my Asian salad on there you guys look at that let's see where am I gonna put it you know what I should do is take my lettuce wraps off put those on a side dish because I'll run out of space it is a ton of chili <laughs> it is gonna be like it is gonna be hot that's okay. And then plus I put a whole bunch in the salad too. All right, so that's it. I got a piece of chicken in my peanut butter sauce, so that's not gonna make for a good photo opportunity. All right, there is my Thai lettuce wraps. <laughs> you have to hold part of it. You just put these on a little side dish. Look at them. Oh, you guys are so good. And then all I do, I mean, not that you need instructions on how to assemble a lettuce wrap. I think you can probably figure it out but you don't need much of each ingredient. That way you get to eat more of these because, you know, it's lettuce. But it also, because it won't hold a ton. So a tiny bit of the Asian salad. I usually only put like one carrot stick, a little bit of the slaw, and then a little drizzle. I go with the peanut sauce on my wrap. And then I dip it in that. Mm -hmm. To me, oh my God. They taste just like the Cheesecake Factory to me, you guys. They are so ridiculously good. Yum. And how easy. Don't you guys love watching me chew? the highlight of the whole show. <laughs> I just got the stink eye from my daughter. Well, yeah. Stink <laughs> anyway, yeah. So good. So good. I've said that at least 2,000 times. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, Gabrielle, it is. But I'm going to write it out when I finish eating. I'll write it all out for you. Oh, yeah. I like to put a few sesame seeds. I like all my sauce because I can. Woo! There comes the heat. <clears throat> there it comes. Yeah. Good. Good. I'm not going to regret it. I can eat heat these days because I don't have GERD anymore. All right. That's awesome, you guys. Hope you like it. Try making them. It, I mean, that wasn't that hard to make. Make your sauce in the morning, stick it in the fridge, and you'll have it all ready to go for supper. You'll just have to heat up your chicken and your chili sauce. I, I like the chili sauce hot. But, all right. Um, no, Marie, but you could. I use this chicken. Tyson blackened chicken breast strips. They're all pre-cooked. I literally just nuked them for one minute and chopped them into chunks. <laughs> They're good. The actual spice on there is good. It's They're kind of like a Cajun flavor with the Asian flavor, but it's okay. It's fusion. <laughs> it's Asian fusion. <laughs> All right. That's it. I hope you go make it. If you make it, make sure you post a picture. I want to hear all about it. These chicken strips, Bridget, I said at the beginning, so these... The only ingredient in this <clears throat> that is technically off plan is way down at the end of the list. And it's um, cornstarch and it's less than 2%. There's only one carb in these. In the Trim Healthy uh, first book, in the plan book, Pearl talks about if you are um, a drive through Sue, it's okay to use packaged pre-cooked meat for your salads and everything. As long as it's not like teriyaki and covered in sugar and barbecue flavor covered in sugar this isn't covered in sugar this has no sugar in the ingredients so it's okay she says to use those pre-cut cut like fajita strips for your salads throw them in a wrap it's okay um it's not gonna derail you that little tiny tiny bit now would i eat this three meals a day five days a week no i wouldn't but it's a good quick meal when i need a quick meal i didn't need quick tonight but you did. So I made quick. So I get these right at, um, I get these at our local commissary, but they also have them at Walmart. So, all right. All right. So frozen meatballs, I don't know. You'll want to check the ingredients. That's probably going to have a lot more. That's probably going to have sugar. They're probably also going to have a lot more. They're going to probably have potato starch, which you don't want. And they're probably going to have a lot more corn starch. And it's probably going to be before the 2% or less mark. This is 2% or less. So just like sugar and bacon, if it's two, two grams or less, you're okay. So, all right, guys, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday evening. I'm going to enjoy my lettuce wraps and then I'm going to eat some gluky pudding. You're welcome, Debbie. Th De Debbie, thank you. I'm glad. It is easy. It is easy. You just got to get in the swing of things. So, all right, guys, have a beautiful night. I'm sure I will talk to you guys later.